Hey guys, my name is Forbar Known, and welcome to episode 14 of the Server Survival Series. So, today we are going to be doing two separate farms that actually have nothing to do with each other. So, farm 1 is going to be the Guardian farm that we're working on. And I'm still trying to figure out what went wrong with some of my audio when I put this the videos into my editing software I had zero audio whatsoever and so now we're having to do it this way again but it's not that bad I guess so because I'm doing two farms separately I'm thinking about half the video is going to be per farm and I really don't know who designed the farm that we're doing, um, which I mean is kind of bad not knowing, but I just don't happen to know. But we went through, we killed the three Elder Guardians, and now we're just filling up all the water, getting rid of the temple, and the problem with, or not temple, the monument. But the problem with this particular monument that we found was it's in the middle of an ice ocean. And that's slightly, slightly problematic. So, it's it was a slow process getting all this stuff done. I mean, the ice definitely got in the way. It got frustrating. Um, but it's, I mean, a guardian farm as an XP farm isn't a bad way to do things. And I do like the way sea lanterns look. Uh, I'm trying to not be too overly technical with my videos, but at the same time, I want to get these farms done so we can work on other things on the server. So, the next couple episodes are just going to be a little more technical. They're going to be me focusing more on just farms. And with these particular farms, I don't want to be focused on the digging out portions of the farms. I don't want to be sitting there with, you know, 20 minutes of, Hey guys, this is me digging. And that's about it. So I'm going to kind of skip over a lot of the digging portions of the videos. Because that's just something that... I mean, we all know how digging goes. We know what digging's like. It's slow. <laughs> I mean, I do need to get shulker boxes, though, because my ender chest system is a little compact. I'd like to get shulkers done. I'd like to get an elytra, finally, after how long. It's, what is it, episode 14, I said? And we're doing pretty well. We have stuff done for the nether. We have... We're now making a guardian farm. We had a gold farm not that long. I mean, episode five was a gold farm. I mean, but we still haven't even touched the end. We haven't even found an end portal yet. So we definitely need to get some uh, some work done on that progression list. I mean, we even have full diamond, but uh, you know. Slowly but surely, we will get everything dealt with. I want to get an Enderman farm, at least an, what is it called, an Ender Ender or something like that, where you can just sit there and farm away your Ender Pearls. And this is what I was talking about, though, as with just kind of problems for the... 
just for this is there is so much ice on top of the monument it almost wasn't worth getting this done I mean we have just so many different things that we can do with the uh, with the series but I really don't know what I really want to do next I mean I'm finally getting the slime farm done today because we need that done. I mean, that's just something to where it needs to happen. And for, uh, it's also going to help us with another farm, which is, I want to get the gold farm back up, but... I can only do that with magma blocks, at least, well I can do it with other blocks, but the magma blocks are definitely going to reduce the amount of things I can spawn. And you know, I really like the design of the old farm. I mean the old farm was cool. The old farm had just that kind of really amazing look to it and it's going to be difficult I, I'm not saying it won't be because then we're going to have to redesign we're going to have to redo the entire thing except we're going to have to use magma blocks so it, it's going to be a challenge it's going to be an event but I definitely think it'll be worth it Especially because I still have all the minecarts. I still have all that stuff. So we can make a system that produces a ton of gold. But then we can also have um, it hooked up to a pigman trading farm. And actually while I'm doing this I'll look up and see what their trades are. Because... If they do have um, anything flammable, then they can always um, do that. But it's really not bad getting a gold farm again because then we can also have um, whatever it's called. We need a tree farm though eventually, and I'd l now that I have the plan to do the witch farm and an area laid out, it'll be easier to make potions of weakness, because that was another thing kind of holding me up was for the curing of villagers, we need the zombie, which we already have that, we need golden apples, and we need uh, splash potions of weakness. So, once we actually get everything set up, we can then just trade away, or we can go like crazy and reduce the amount of, or at least the cost of things. So, hopefully, we can uh, get all that done with. Because I also want to, I don't know um, what I want to do yet, but I definitely want to just sit down and fill up the the trade hall and I'm not sure why the world was definitely on hard difficulty at this point in time but I couldn't figure out what was going on with the spawning um, I mean I thought the farm was broken and I was just, you know, 
doing whatever. But that is the farm, and it was just a lot of placing spruce gates, opening them up, covering over the thing. And then that was our design, and that was what I was doing to just get rid of them all. And, you know, I just kind of need to get rid of the, the Guardians. But that is what it looks like when it's completely finished. I added a little area downstairs with the killing chamber. I have a way for them to go up. And, you know, honestly, I'm really happy with the design. I mean, it was, it was a pain. It was really resource intensive. Um, I later realized that that whole system there was kind of stupid because I needed ice to make things skate across. So I later went back with ice and changed it out. And that's really everything that I did with the, uh, with the farm. I'm going to come back through later and add a item sorter. Right now it's just hoppers that go through. But, uh, the Guardian Farm project took a long time, and I'm sorry if I didn't put enough stuff into today's episode with it. I just wanted to get both the Guardian Farm and the, uh, the Slime Farm done today. And we still need to rename my cat. My cat has been named, and I do not like it. But, I mean, at least we're finally getting stuff done that we need to, you know. And this week's episode is going to be a little longer than last week's episode, and I'm kind of doing that as an I'm sorry because I did reduce last week's episode. Um, I just didn't have enough content that I felt was exciting or interesting enough to actually be worth watching. And so, as a I'm sorry for that, I'm trying to do two things this week to kind of counterbalance the, the lack of something from last week. But I'm definitely liking the use of lanterns still. I mean, the lanterns are definitely something worth investing in. At least for uh, this series. So I think for at least my stuff, I don't know how everyone else is going to go about the series because I'm not going to micromanage. I don't care to micromanage. But I do know that for my stuff at least, everything underground is going to be either lanterns or glowstone. I don't really like the look of torches. I mean, in some places they can be aesthetic, but as for the m most part, I'm going to be doing lanterns, glowstone. Now that we have a guardian farm, I will be doing a uh, area that's kind of hidden, and that will be using sea. That'll be utilizing sea lanterns. And, you know, that's, it's going to be really interesting. I like sea lanterns in some aspects. I also like glowstone in some aspects, and then others I prefer to use uh, redstone lamps. So, it's going to be interesting, especially once, and, you know, this isn't, I'm not going to finish anytime soon, but I'm saying, like, once the, uh, once the series actually starts wrapping up and coming to an end, I'm, Definitely going to take like a world tour um, kind of finale. I'm going to actually do a, a world tour sometime soon just to kind of just kind of see what's going on in our world. Um, but it's, it's just going to be interesting to see once everyone's kind of done what they want to and once we've all gotten everything set up what's in the world, what the world looks like. I mean, you know, I could always start it out and I could do the episode 
and I could have the world as it started out. And then I could always do, you know, I could show up in where our city is and I could go, okay, cool. This is what we started out with. This is the original look of the city. And I still kind of remember that. It was a village. It was, you know, really basic. But now we've gotten all sorts of different things getting set up. And I'm excited to see what we progress to. Because once we actually get the farm set up and get all the technical stuff done, I mean, I really want to just work on the city after I get the farms done. Because then I, <clears throat> I can always AFK, I can always just use the farms. I mean, realistically, the only time I go to the farm or the Guardian farm is for XP now. I mean, it, this thing is re for anyone that wants to build this thing, right? Um, just surround the outside of the farm of the uh, the ocean monument with whatever block you're using as a wall. I use stone brick, and then just go up from there. You have to take out the entire structure, and so long as you don't have um, enough mobs in the world to actually get rid of the problem of the uh, guardian spawning, then you're going to fill it up with sand or anything else just because they will attack you because obviously they're hostile. And I'm trying to get up on the top of the uh, <laughs> up on the top of the thing. It took me a few tries to actually get this to work. And this was just kind of a uh, a pipe dream. You know, I wasn't trying super terribly hard to uh, get underneath with this technique. I ended up using a different, a separate technique to get down there. But I will say that if this technique works for you, right? If doing this weird little redstone glitch works for you then by all means more power to you you know i'm glad that you guys can figure it out right for whatever reason i couldn't and so there's another redstone technique that i used that uses uh comparators and repeaters and everything else and it was it's more reliable at least for me so that was uh that was my breaking through the bedrock layer. So, I mean, if nothing else, we now have access to the roof of the nether. So I can, I can then decide to build a gold farm again up here. And also I can make a safer nether hub I mean, I do like having um, access to the roof, but I also do like having um, some portals down below. I want to fix up, so the portal to the Guardian Farm, which is actually the only way to get to the Guardian Farm, that is kind of out in the open. I want to fix that up. I want to kind of get it's safe because it's in the middle of a basalt delta and there's magma cubes everywhere. But I mean it's it's kind of sketchy. And for those of you that don't um, know how slime farm works I don't I haven't looked at anything recently but the last time I built one was semi recently and the mechanics still worked, that slime tried to attack iron golems. I could be wrong. I, they could no longer be aggroed to iron golems. But, 
um, they would hop over to them, try to kill them, and then that would be the end of them. And it's it's not a bad design. You know, cover the floor in magma blocks. It damages mag or it uh, damages slimes. They drop slime balls, have a hopper minecart system underneath, picks it all up, drops it in a assist hopper system, life moves on. But, I mean, it's a, uh, alright, I'm looking up right now. Slimes, hold on, that's magma cube. Yeah, it's a, uh, I'm seeing a bug for this, where the uh, slime don't aggro to iron golems. But, uh, I'm definitely going to have to see if there's any way to improve the efficiency of my slime farm. But they definitely do seem to be working. Because at this point in time, I think I have... I've already collected slime out of the slime farm. But I think I have about three stacks of slime balls just hiding out in the uh, thing. I probably have more because I've been doing some base work. Which is actually nice that the slime farm is where it is. Because it stays rendered. It stays loaded. And you can AFK without really AFKing. Because so long as you're within 128 blocks, the slimes won't despawn. So... If you're up working in the base and you're sorting or doing anything else, because once we get shulker boxes, I guarantee I'm going to have, you know, like six shulkers in my ender chest, just little missile, oh, labeled miscellaneous. And so it's a, um, it's a process and a half trying to get me to organize my shulkers. You know, I have the great idea of having shulker boxes in my ender chest that are all labeled neat and, neat and nice but I don't like having um, <laughs> or I don't like not having shulkers where I can just drop stuff in there because it's it's definitely a thing where unless you're utilizing shulker boxes in your actual system, or in your inventory, then what are you doing? But also, why not have in your shulker box, or in your ender chest, some miscellaneous things, because we all go exploring. If you carry an ender chest on you, because that's the best way once you get um, shulker boxes to get your, uh, to get what you need when you need it. But, you're going to pick up some random things. You know, just throw it in the miscellaneous box. You know, I think once I get my shulker system set up, it's going to, I'm going to have a box of potions for healing, regeneration, and I'm going to have some water breathing as a fire resistance because you never know when you're going to need either. And then have a redstone box because you never know when you're going to randomly want to pop out a uh, redstone contraption. You know, have a box for my tools. Because once I get shulker boxes, I'm definitely going to get an Elytra. So, have rockets for my Elytra. Maybe have a spare Elytra if I have one. I can definitely keep um, some extra bottles of enchanting in there. Just because it'll be... It's good to keep a few bottles of enchanting just to kind of get you through a tough spot. Because say that they're you're flying and you're up on the top of a mountain, and you're, you need to get home really quick. 
use some bottles of enchanting. I mean, it's, I know I'm not a pro Minecrafter, but I mean, that is my, that is my pro Minecrafter advice is if you're going to be using a ender chest storage system and always carry an ender chest on you, if you're going to do that, have bottles of enchanting inside your ender chest so that way you can actually have a last minute repair for any of your things that have the mending enchantment because there's going to be points in time where you're going to be out in the middle of the wilderness you don't have access to basically anything and your stuff's going to be almost broken and I mean that's just Minecraft that's how it works for us playing the game is it happens I mean it's not being a noob or anything else just you know things happen so that is my advice for you guys just you know if you're going to be using and I would 100% like 200% suggest using an ender chest to store interesting items so have a valuables shulker box in there have a tools one have a I have I'm going to have two separate building boxes and the simple reasoning for that is I keep them empty uh, empty wow I can't talk today guys now I'm going to keep them empty unless I'm doing a project so once I actually start a large-scale project that is going to require stuff like the witch farm I want to build this thing out of stone brick and black glass or smooth stone and stone brick and black glass maybe not smooth or stone brick maybe just regular stone but regardless I'm going to fill those uh, shulker boxes when I get them if I have them before the uh, witch farm takes place I'm gonna have a shulker of just black glass which is going to take forever to trade. I mean, dear lord, right? You guys realize how much, how long it takes to trade um, for glass? But, you know, it'll be worth it. Have a, um, have a medical box. I mean, and don't forget to color code them. Because I'm just saying right now, color coding your shulker boxes and knowing exactly what each color is will save you so much time and it will save your life but this is what the uh, farm looks like when it's all done it is just layer after layer after layer of lit up platform and the reason you light up the platforms is slime can spawn at any light level provided they're actually in the proper chunk or they're in a uh I think they can spawn a light level on a uh, swamp too, but yeah, that's our little hopper system, or hopper minecart system. Because I don't have a gold farm, I don't have a redstone farm. I didn't want to use too many power rails, and I mean you don't need to power rail everything. And I mean our farm is pretty efficient for its size; it's efficient. And I mean, as you can see, we lit up most of everything around, so it's it's really not that bad. I mean, there's definitely some work that we could do around us, but for the most part, it's not bad. And I mean, I would like, you know, this, this is kind of a uh, pipe dream, but I would like... Well, not pipe dream, but a, uh, a far-off thing. I'd like to have a camera account. Or at least a secondary account that I can log on and I can do time lapses of me building or digging. And it's not from my perspective. Because, I mean, I think it would be a little nicer. Because then also I could go into spectator mode and show you that without having to actually use my character. So, eventually that might be a thing I do. That depends on my computer, my um, 
my money and all that fun stuff. So hopefully one day, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later, I just end up going and getting a um, a secondary Minecraft account, and we can uh, have some fun with that because I definitely think having an account to where I can watch from another view will be worth it. And I mean, last time I checked, well, when I bought Minecraft for the PC, it was like 20 bucks. I don't know if it's actually gone up now or not. It might have since Minecraft's taken off. But I do remember when it was cheap. Um, yeah. It's uh, it's gonna be interesting though, seeing how everything goes for this server. What is also, I know I ask this frequently-ish, but I see no comments in my comment section still, and I get no um, messages on my social media at the four bar none. But uh, what is something that you guys want to see? Like, I need to know this. Yeah. What is something that you guys would like? to improve my videos. Now, I mean, I can't I can't predict what you guys are going to like. So, I kind of need to know. I mean, do you know, even just, you know, shooting me a message on social media saying, "Hey, good job," or even throwing it in the comment section saying, "Hey, good job." Right? Just Something to where I know that you guys are enjoying the content. Um, I'd also just like some suggestions for, you know, is there something that I'm doing that's super inefficient that you guys would do better? Is there, you know, a better way of doing a specific farm? Is there a farm you guys want to see? I know I said that I want to get away from farms, but if there is a good farm that I don't have for whatever reason that would be worth having. I'd like to know that. Please disregard the good name of my cat as well. It uh it rudely got mis renamed. So uh but just little things like that. I mean I know I need a tree farm. I know I need a cobblestone generator because I want to finish the wall. But my problem with the wall is that it's just such a large project. I mean I get working on it, and then, like, this episode and last episode, I didn't even have um, edited. I had videos for it, but I hadn't even bothered editing them. And, I mean, honestly, it's kind of like, me working on the wall is kind of like you cleaning your room uh, when you're little, you know. You're like, oh yeah, I'm going to clean up my room. I'm going to clean up my room. It's going to look great. It's going to look awesome. You start cleaning it, then next thing you know, you find a toy, and you're like, ooh, hey, I'm going to play with that instead. And, you know, you start playing with that, and then you look up at your room, and you go, right, I was cleaning that. And then, you know, you start cleaning again, you find something else, you start doing that, and, you know, it never gets really clean. Kind of the same thing with the walls. You know, I just need to sit down one day and say, okay, we're building the wall, and then just knock out as much as I can. But, I mean, it's, it's kind of where I'm at with this whole wall I mean, I know it's going to look great when we're done with it, because the front looks great. And it's... It's really coming together. I mean, the only problem is I started where it's mostly flat. The two sides of the walls are... Well, actually, th the other three sides are have hills and everything else. But that's all I have time for today, guys. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. I really appreciate it, and it means a lot to me. But I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.